Welcome back, everybody. Road America is going to be buzzing this weekend, hosting the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. That's right. And today we're joined by Cooper McNeil, a driver for WeatherTech Racing. And we also have this beauty. Did you see it? Here in studio. There she How is. How about it? It's his car. Yeah. Does she have a name? <laughs> no, not yet. But the guys, yeah, the crew guys usually name her. So we're waiting to hear what they come up is with. Is she brand new? She is. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, she's this, beautiful. So this one has not been raced yet. It has, but this okay. is a new car itself. So. Okay. Where's All your right. Where's your co-pilot? <laughs> he, he's in the He's in the show today, actually, just not on set right he's now. He's just not with you right yes, now. Yeah. But you don't do everything together. No, not everything, but most things. How tall are you? Six foot five. Okay, I would think most race car drivers should be like jockey size. They are. It, it, it's tough for me, but I have to kind of fold myself in there. But we make it work. Hurts. Yeah, uh, no, not too much, but because <laughs> sometimes the races are super long. Yeah, yeah, so we're in the car for an hour or two hours at any given time, and it, it's tough, but I, I love it. That's and awesome. WeatherTech was formed by your dad. Yes. Right. So is he a taller or short man? He's six six foot one, so not, okay. not too short. But he was like, darn it, my son is even taller, so he's been <laughs> teaching you how to fold up since you were little, I bet. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to get in that race car. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the IMSA um, WeatherTech Racing and, yes. and what it is. So this is the second year of the IMSA WeatherTech Championship. Oh, you We've say IMSA. IMSA, yeah. Okay. Inter International Motorsports Association. Okay. Right, we can be cooler now. Yeah, IMSA. Say, right? IMSA. There you go. So there's 12 races we do throughout the year. They're all endurance races. So the shortest race we do is 100 minutes, and the longest race we do is 24 hours long. Whoa. Whoa. People sit around and watch a 24 hour long yeah, race. Yeah, you believe it. Okay, so um, we've asked race car drivers before, what if you have to go to the bathroom during a race? Because that's a long time. And there was a, a race car driver in our studio who mm -hmm. said he just would pee in the car in his suit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no? <laughs> not, not so good. I, personally, I've never had to go in the seat. Uh, I had a, a few co drivers that have had to go in the seat in the past, which is, it's tough because they're in the car for three hours or so. Yeah. So sometimes they just have to go, but I always go before I get in the car and never have any issues. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um, what's it like uh, racing at, at Elkhart Lake and, Lake and other places like that versus um, other places you've been? Elkhart's like, fantastic. Yeah. I love the yeah the facilities they have there. It's very fan friendly. The food's fantastic. It's in a gorgeous area. Elkhart Lake, Kohler's nearby. I mean, it's a really really prime location for a racetrack. A lot of people say the food is their favorite yeah. of all the racetracks at Road America. Yeah, the classic Johnsonville brat. You got to go uh -huh. for that. Yeah, uh -huh. there's good food there. That's interesting. All right, so let's talk about the track specifically because mm -hmm. drivers care about that. Is the track good at Road America? The track's fantastic. It's it's four miles long, 14 turns. It's got elevation changes it's got on camber corners off cam camber corners so it really th throws a lot at, at you as a race car driver and the car itself it's it's a very fun racetrack to race at what speed are you going we do about 170 175 miles an hour in uh, into turn one into turn five and into turn 12 so three times a lap we're doing about 170 do you have a hard time following speed limits in your regular car? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so boring. I did for a while, and then I uh, had a pretty bad speeding ticket, so I had to get rid of that. <laughs> I was wondering. You like, but I'm a race car driver. <laughs> yeah. that, that doesn't. I've like, uh, heard that yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, that I doesn't really work. Am. <laughs> I always wonder what it's like to be the mother of a race car driver. I think it'd be the most stressful life you can imagine, perhaps oh. other than having a child in the military. Yeah, my mom, uh, she's okay with it. You know, I ra I've been racing for almost 10 years now. My dad raced for 20 years, so she's been around it for so long, so she's pretty used to it. She has to accept it. Exactly. Huh? Have you been in any wrecks? A few, yep. A few. I've hit a, a concrete wall here at Road America, actually, at 100 miles an hour. No way. Uh, a couple How times. How was that? <coughs> it was rough. I had a pretty <laughs> decent concussion from it. but uh, Yeah, I would think something like that would really ring your bell. Yeah, thankfully these race cars are very safe. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things in there that keep us safe, so it's really nothing to worry about. I'm always amazed watching uh, racing. You know, you can see a car flip. You can see it do all these different things and how, uh, how most of the drivers walk away fairly unharmed. That's yeah, shocking a, to there's me. There's a very sophisticated roll cage inside the car mm -hmm. as well as a very safe racing seat. Six-point harness. You got a full helmet on. Hans, fireproof clothing. Uh, there's a lot of things in there to keep you safe. I wouldn't be opposed to driving like that all the time myself, <laughs> with like a cage, a helmet. A, like, think how much safer yes. we'd all be. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you would be. Six-point cra harness. Is crashing sort of part of it? Yeah. So in order to find the limit of the car, you have to find the limit of the car, and unfortunately, mm. sometimes you hit stuff when when you do find that limit. 
Uh, but uh, you know that's that's how you find the limits of the car. I've been to Road America. It's a great place to, to be a fan and see races. And for people who've never um, experienced a race before, I think it's a beautiful spot to see a race. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's four miles long, so there's a lot of really cool places for fans to go all over the racetrack yeah. to go really get up close and see the race cars right on the side of the racetrack. Yeah, so this is really family friendly too. Kids Very family friendly. Come out. Oh, yeah. There's lots of stuff to do. Yep, there's frisbee golf there. A mm -hmm. new frisbee golf. Uh, course they put in there's a zip line so it's very very fan friendly that's cool it's fun stuff to do mm -hmm. and it's very affordable for families and it's very close for most people in the milwaukee area it's an hour or maybe even less um and depending on where you live north of the city so great to meet you nice yeah to meet you, Molly. thank you so much for being here it's great and today through sunday people can check out races at road america which is located conveniently in elkhart lake you can go to weathertechracing.com to find out more and this is a great special offer kids 16 and under can attend attend the IMSA, is that right? That's right. IMSA <laughs> race yep. um, weekend at Road America for free with a paying adult. So it's a wonderful way to take the family and again, make it super affordable. Thanks again. Thanks yeah. for having I me. I think lady. you should yeah. name her Snow White. Snow White, she oh, is pretty good. white. She's a weather tech. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, she's got nice floor mats in there too. Mm -hmm. Good call. <laughs> Here we go. Good call, I like that. There's your name, tell the team. <laughs> there Thanks, you go. Cooper. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you ladies.